Are you wondering what is the healthiest fruit of them all? Maybe pineapple, perhaps an orange or a banana? Let's rank them all in the ultimate popular fruit tier list from a nutritionist and health best-selling author. Now, let's begin. If you like this kind of videos, please consider subscribing because there are 16 of them in the pipeline and more to come. Let's now use and see the rules that I'm going to use in this training here. Now, the rules. Now, each food will count as organic and very high quality. So we're going to assume very low pollution, very low toxins. At the same time, for each fruit, we're going to consider 100 grams or 3.5 ounces of the fruit, and we will count it as raw fruit. Now, let's have a look what we're going to rank on everything on. The macronutrient, these are the protein, carbs, and fat of the fruit. Then we're going to have the micronutrients, these are the vitamins and minerals of the fruit. Then we're going to check its ORAC. What's ORAC? It's the capacity of the fruit to deal with free radical damage. This is essentially the power level in Dragon Ball of that specific fruit. And then we're going to discuss the superpowers of the fruit. What's inside that specific fruit that can be really, really useful for your health? Now, with that said, let's have a look to fruits in general. Now, most fruits are largely made of water plus carbs. And most fruits give you, on average, 50 to 60 kilocalorie every 100 grams. And obviously, if there is an exception, I will show you and let you know about that. And most fruits, they give you a good profile of vitamins and minerals. But with all of this said, which fruit shall reign supreme? I will put the 10 most 10 popular fruit in a contest to see which one wins, which one will score the highest, and proceed to the fruits Champions League. Let's find them out and introducing the first contestant, which is Apple. So Apple have an average calories value and they have good levels of fiber. Everything else in, in Apple is quite average, not bad, not great either. Now, the Oracle of Apple is 2,828, which is fairly good. It's like uh, in line with uh, more than average, what we're going to see today. But apples do come with really, really good superpowers. The first one being quercetin. What's quercetin? It's a really, really nice antioxidant, which is going to really, really help with what? With, with essentially like uh, hay fevers and allergies. What do I mean by that? Well, when you have hay fevers or allergies, essentially you're releasing a molecule called histamine. Okay? Okay. This histamine here is released by these mast cells. Now, your quercetin can stabilize the mast cells, reducing the release of histamine. As a result of that, you can actually really like uh, reduce the sneezing, reduce the tears, reduce all of the issues that someone has with an allergy. Quercetin can really, really help with that, but it doesn't stop there because apples do contain Pectin and pectin is the single best type of fiber for regularity. Obviously, with every fiber, you also need water, but this also is going to be acting as a prebiotic, so it's going to feed you good bacteria, granting you great immunity. So, when you hear the sentence, an apple a day kicks the doctor away, or something similar, it's actually really true. Why? Because it's really going to improve the health of your good bacteria, and your good bacteria are behind a really, really good immune system. So, what do we put our apple? Well, there is a good aura. 2800 does have a couple of superpowers it can help with hay fever it's the best like fiber for regularity i think it's fairly clear it goes into low a tier easily next we have watermelons and watermelons are lower in calories as you can see only 30 the rest is quite average, average low, so it's because it's largely water with a bit of sugar. That's what watermelons are. But they do contain something I flagged here called lycopene, which you're going to see in a moment. Unfortunately, the aura of watermelon is really bad, 142, which I think is the worst of all of the fruits we're going to see today. Now, what's good in watermelon then? Well, it's great for hydration because it's largely water, and it's really good with this very nice antioxidant called lycopene. Now, just to give you an idea, when you look at the color, is like pink red color that's the lycopene and it's the same one you're going to find in tomatoes on average like watermelons they have more lycopene than a lot of tomatoes why is this good because lycopene is a really good antioxidant it helps with fight the free radicals and i will tell you more about free radicals at fruit number six and it really helps also balancing the levels of cholesterol in the body so overall it's really good now its special power is that lycopene can really reduce genetic hair loss okay why 
because there is a hormone, the one you see here, is called DHT. This is a hormone that comes from testosterone, the main and uh, male hormone, and this is basically the reason why men uh, and sometimes also women lose their hair. Now, is, is lycopene, is eating like uh, watermelon is going to stop your genetic hair loss? No, but it can help and it can lower it. Uh, so overall, it's a decent type of fruit. Now, in the tier list, so we have good water content, we have low calories, we have great lycopene, it can help with air loss. But to be fair, average values in everything else, low ORAC, I can't really go higher than low B tier, maybe high C. I'm going to put it in low B for now, but there could be a case you can even go lower. Next, we have a powerhouse, avocados. And avocados, compared to all of the other fruits, are one of the few fruits with a lot of fat, as you can see here. And they are the fruits with the highest amount of fiber, highest amount of potassium, really, really great levels of vitamin E. So this is a really, really powerful fruit. Now, it does come with an ORAC of 922, which is really, really good. And it does have some superpowers, good fat profile, so it can also help you like um like feel fuller for a longer period of time it combines very well with instagram pictures i'm obviously joking here but some of the main superpowers in avocados they give you like really really good b vitamins and really really good minerals why is this useful because it's going to empower something in your body called enzymes what are enzymes they are basically tiny proteins behind the majority of the biochemistry responses, the biochemical reactions in your body. Just to give you an idea how important they are, let me show you here. So essentially, have you ever had a bad case of fever, like um, something like 100 Fahrenheit degrees or 39 Celsius degrees? When you're feeling so bad in a fever, the reason why you're feeling so bad is because your body's not functioning correctly because your enzymes, which are proteins, they're getting damaged. And when the enzyme is damaged, they can't function properly but that's not the only reason why an enzyme may not work why because the enzyme they do require vitamins and minerals for them to function if you're low in vitamins and minerals you're going to feel really tired there's not going to be any energy it's going to be awful okay and avocados can really help you with that so where do we put avocados well easily i would say in a in a tier why because they have good fat content they make you full for longer they have a good profile of vitamins and minerals great vitamin e great potassium this is a really really high a tier fruit Next, we have kiwis, and kiwis, they have average calories, give or take, decent amount of fiber, really, really good vitamin C, the best amount of vitamin C of all of the fruits we're going to see here. Unfortunately, the ORAC is not exceptional, 1,100, not bad, not great either, but kiwis comes with some superpower. So just two kiwis, keep in mind the number, two kiwis, they give you 230%, so like more than twice the amount of vitamin C you need in a day, and 70% of the vitamin K, which is really good, and it also gives you some other good vitamins. So all in all, the good amount of vitamin C, they can really help you with iron absorption, which is often like a problem with people on a vegetarian, or a vegan diet. So kiwis, they don't contain iron, but they give you the vitamin C to help you absorb iron. So all in all, they could be okay. And kiwis are also capable of boosting the production of melatonin. What's melatonin, you may be asking? Well, it's one of the main hormones that helps you to fall asleep. Just to give you an idea, about 30% of the population has sleeping-related issues. And we probably here on YouTube, <laughs> you're probably one of us. I used to be an insomniac, now, now I'm okay but the, there was like a bad period of my life where I suffer with this, okay? Just to give you an idea, there are several papers that they prove that two kiwis, about one hour before bed, they can increase the sleep time by over 13%, which on average could mean between 45 and 60 minutes more. So with all this said, where do we put kiwis? So there is an excellent amount of vitamin C, vitamin K, a good aura, but not great, but, and, I'm a bit biased here, but with the melatonin help that can really help someone to sleep, that goes into high A tier right away. Next, speaking of vitamin C, orange. So orange, they have, as usual, on average calories intake. They do have good amounts of vitamin C, although below kiwis, and they do contain some calcium, which is really, really good. Now, their ORAC is 2,103, and which is fairly good. Not great, but fairly good. And as I said, they also contain some 
calcium and they contain some B vitamins, some folate. Now, calcium is obviously important for many things in your body, for your bones, for your muscles. So it does really come with very, very interesting pictures. But I would say the best two things about oranges are these two uh, molecules here. You're called esperidin and naringengin which essentially they do help uh, your blood vessel. They do help your cardiovascular system. So what do they do? Well, essentially, this is how we function. We breathe in air and we extract oxygen, okay? We need oxygen, for example, for us to be able to function. This oxygen binds to the ion in our red cells and gets moved around in the body. The more efficient is this moving around of the oxygen, the more you're going to feel energetic, the more you're going to function in a great way. And vitamin C helps with that. On top of that, in oranges, you find two types of flavonoid, which are antioxidant, like which are normally present in oranges, which they can help you with this specific protect, um, protection. So overall, good fruit. Where do I put it? I would put it into low to medium B tier. It's certainly better than uh, watermelon. Is it as great as the other ones? Probably not. So I would say low B tier is fair. Next, we have bananas. Bananas, as you can see, very high calories compared to every other food, very high amount of, of carbs, of sugar compared to everything else. Good levels of potassium, although less than avocados. But the ORAC is a bit is a bit pathetic. 795, not really good, not really good at all. Now, bananas are known for the potassium content, and to be fair, like, like a one medium banana gives you about uh, like 30% of the amount of potassium that you need in a day. They do contain vitamin C, folate, magnesium, and choline. So they do their job. They do something really, really good. I would say the best selling part of the banana is the amount of really, really good fiber that you're going to find in bananas, which they act as prebiotic. As I told you before, in our body, we have a lot of good bacteria. And from bananas, you can get these two prebiotics, which are the fiber and the starch, okay? And these are going to feed your, your good bacteria. Now, why is this important? Because your good bacteria can make something called butyrate or butyric acid, call it the way you want. This is a mild laxative which can help you to go to the toilet with regularity. Is this important? It absolutely is because like every time you go to the toilet for urination or defecation, you can excrete all of the toxins. And if, if like me, you live in a big city in the West, well, that could be really, really problematic. So where do we put it here? Higher calories, higher sugar than all of the others. Yeah, there is good potassium, but not extreme, low ORAC. They're good for regularity. I would say they probably go into high C tier. I can't see myself putting them higher than that. Next, blueberries. And blueberries are dangerous. Blueberries are really, really powerful. Now, average calories intake, decent amount of fiber, but what really stands out here is the ORAC, 4,662, which is going to be the highest power level we're going to see today. Now, blueberries are really, really good in fighting free radicals. Now, we're going to see like some other fruits that are really good, but blueberries, they take the cake here. Now, when it comes to that, I'm going to talk to you about uh, antioxidants. They do have very good antioxidants, specifically a, a type of antioxidant called anthocyanins, and they give you like the blue color of blueberries, and they're really, really powerful. Now, let me explain to you what's an antioxidant, what's free radical damage. This is like a molecule in our body, but it could be your DNA, it could be like the, the, your cells. Essentially, this is like a bad, like a free radical, and what does it want to do? You see these golden, uh, like slash oranges, like, uh, points here well the free radical wants to take them wants to literally like feed on them to become like more stable itself now to stop that we have the beauty of the free of the antioxidants specifically the beautiful antioxidant you can find in blueberries these are going to really really stop the free radical damage and the higher the horaka the better it will be on top of that berries they do have so many different types of free radical protection which Come on, <laughs> we're going to be high here because they have the best ORAC of all of the fruit we're going to see today. They have a great diverse, diverse types of antioxidants, so way more protection. They get the best protection of the common fruit. So unfortunately or fortunately, they go into literally like low S tier with a case of being mid S tier. Now, next fruit is my favorite one, peaches. And they have average values of calories, 51. As I told you, between 51 and 60 is the average. They do have some fiber. They do have vitamin A, vitamin C. But beyond that, well, they're not really great. They are average in everything. Their ORAC is average. 
as you can see i'm flagging here i'm really trying to hype them up but they have average micronutrients they have vitamin c a k b complex but they're not great in everything even their special power the special power is something called beta carotene like which is essentially the reason why they have these like color here even beta carotene which makes them like golden orange they're really going to be really really useful for your vision so they can help your eyes yes but compared to some other popular like foods like uh, carrots or, or pumpkins they really rate like lower so peach i really rooted for you but you're really average there is an average aura average nutrients and even the best thing they have beta carotene is much lower than every other food so even if i really really like them they need to go into low c tiers i'm sorry peaches but that's where you belong next one is cherries and cherries are really cool now 60 calories pretty good um, higher than usual amount of, of carbs really good levels of potassium but the ORAC has really good, 3,747, this is really, really good. And they are a good source of vitamin C, potassium, calcium, magnesium. Again, they will help your enzymes work in a better way. But their special power, yeah, the special power is really, really good. Essentially, cherries are really useful for arthritis and for a disease called gout. Why? Because they can really help to normalize the levels of uric acid, which is essentially like an acid, which gets like... Um, concentrated when you have gout and it's very very sharp imagine like having these tiny razor blades in your mostly in your big toe now gout is really really painful and like uh, cherries they can really in increase the pain they can increase they can decrease the swelling but also they do something really important they reduce the overactivity of the immune system why is this important because the more your, your immune system is active in that specific area it can cause more damage and do you want to cause more damage in an area which is already very painful you don't really want to at the same time cherries they can also lower the free radical damage in the area why is this important because again for the same reason you don't want to have any more damage now just to give you an idea some people compare like the pain of gout in their toes to be comparable to giving birth which is very um, like one of the of the probably worst types of pain that the human beings can experience so if something is comparable to that well we need to consider that very important so cherries good profile of vitamins good profile of mineral good orac two ways to protect you from one of the worst pain as a human being this is easily low s tier for now i put them like lower than blueberries but there is a case for them to be higher than blueberries then we have strawberries and strawberries they are low in calories they have higher levels than vitamin c than oranges good levels of potassium and they do have really really good aura as you can see that like when you have very colorful they do come with really good antioxidant 4302 they are basically number two just below blueberries and not of much not of, of a lot of time okay now strawberries very good levels of vitamin of vitamin c in a cup you can get most of the levels they have potassium folate calcium magnesium which is really really good they do have really something interesting which has anthocyanins and flavonoids these are types of antioxidant which which is basically one of the reasons why they are so good in protecting from free radical damage and they do contain a molecule called camphorol which is their special power now why camphorol is really really good in protecting your liver and why is this important well because a lot of people like to drink obviously as a nutrition professional i would advise you against drinking alcohol but obviously uh, if, you, if you are of age and it's legal to drink in your country you can do as you want okay now why is this important because uh, essentially like strawberries they can be used to protect the liver before and after drinking and once again i'm not saying you should drink alcohol i, I wouldn't i don't but this is something that some people would like to do so where do we put that well they do have a good profile of vitamins and minerals they make your enzyme work in a better way they have excellent ORAC they are low in calories plenty of water and they have the camphor to protect your liver so easily this is a high A tier for now I put them below uh, kiwis but there is a case for them to be better than kiwis now let's now have a look to see the final tier list and as you can see all the fruits score at least decently in the in the tier list unfortunately my beloved peaches they went really really low so let's have a look at the final tier list here who's the victor here i would say the victor should be blueberries 
but I'm not ready to dismiss Cherries. So I think both of them, they proceed to round two. So when we're going to do like the Champions League of all of the fruits winning in their tier lists, I want them both because I want to have another shot and putting one against the other to see which one shall reign supreme. So for now, we get both blueberries and cherries to go to the next round. Now, overall, to go back to fruit, as a general rule, fruit tends to be very reasonable. When it comes to your health, they can be used by most people, not everyone, obviously, but by most people. They are an excellent source of carbs, excellent source of fiber, and probably one of the most powerful source of antioxidants. So when you put all of these together, overall fruits are a great choice of food for most people, and they get my farms up seal now if you want to watch the next tier list you can go here and watch it if you want to subscribe to the channel that's um, very important as well because we're gonna come up with a lot of other tier list and finally please uh, let me know down below what kind of nutrition or food tier list you would like to see next please comment that down below so i can make sure i'm going to deliver that for you for now have a great day bye bye